hello everyone welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're not new thank you for coming onto my channel and clicking this video i hope you guys enjoy and yes jesus loves you <laughs> Right now, it is February 27th, as I said. It's currently 11 o'clock. I woke up just a little bit ago, did my whole morning routine, meditated a little bit, prayed, read my book, brushed my teeth, washed my face, you know, put on a little bit of an outfit. I'm currently wearing the Wait a Man um, sweatpants. I love these. But yeah, so I was kind of in between. I'm like, should I eat breakfast? Should I eat lunch? What should I do? But I need to eat something with some calories so i decided i'm just gonna make myself a smoothie i have this gnc pro performance protein powder this has 130 calories and 25 grams of protein so i'm about to just make this for right now i don't know i feel like that's not enough only 130 calories oh i'm lying i'm gonna make breakfast I'm about to make me some grits. And then I'll eat the smoothie with it. Y'all see how my head goes? I just be like, do, 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 this, 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 this. So yeah, that's what I'm about to make. I'm about to make me some eggs and grits and this protein smoothie as my little breakfast lunch meal. And then we're gonna go sit out on the patio and get some work done. I still need to read the Bible for this morning, but I need to start off with eating because like I said, I'm trying to get my weight up y'all, so. That's a part of it. Eating your calories. Y'all need some breakfast motivation? Y'all watch me. Get ready for breakfast. cooking breakfast as y'all seen i made grits and eggs and this smoothie let's try the smoothie because mm. this is really good i'm really liking it we got us a high protein breakfast i'm about to just chill eat this and then edit for a little bit probably i said Give me another valley, give me another hour or two. 
home with you. Why you bother me when you know you don't want me? Yeah. Why you bother me when you know you got a woman? Yeah. Why you hear me when you know you know better? Know you know better? Know you grew better than you do. Call me looking for you. Yeah. I be looking for you. Yeah. Got me looking for it. The weekend show, baby. y'all so hopefully y'all can hear me a little bit there's some construction going on so it's a little bit loud but i just read ecclesiastes chapter 9 verses 1 through 12 and from this a couple of the key points that i got was no one knows whether love or hate awaits them anyone who is among the living has hope go eat your food with gladness and drink your wine with a joyful heart for god has already approved what you do Enjoy life with your wife, whom you love, all the days of this meaningless life that God has given you under the sun. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your might. The realm of the dead, where you're going, there is no, there is neither working, nor planning, nor knowledge, nor wisdom. Time and chance happens to them all. No one knows when their hour will come. People are trapped by evil things that fall unexpectedly onto them. So in this verse, it, in this chapter, it honestly gave me a lot of hope. This has a lot to do with what I'm trying to accomplish this month, which is living life to the fullest, doing things that I love and doing them wholeheartedly and striving to do my best in them. That's really one of my biggest goals for this month. I say this month because that's really what I'm really focusing on this month, but my plan is to create this month and make it my lifestyle forever i want to become the woman that i want to be i want to implement the things that i want to implement i just want to be that person and live my life to the fullest because like i said when we die there's not there's no working there's no planning there's you know you don't have anything to look forward to you're dead you know that's it so while we're living that's the greatest gift that god could give us another day on this earth to accomplish the goals that we have set for us so I'm just going to live my life to the fullest and be happy and celebrate this amazing life that God has given me. This verse did give me a lot of encouragement and I'm very happy that I read it. And I would say if you are struggling with your destiny and what you feel like your purpose is on this life, I would definitely um, recommend for you to read Ecclesiastes. That's what I've just started reading. I honestly thought I was reading Proverbs, but this book of the Bible has been giving me a lot of encouragement, even chapter 8, lots of encouragement, encouraging words, and just helping you to get a better and a more positive outlook on life. Because at the end of the day, you know, we're all, we are God's children. And God is love. So we have to practice love and practice all that because God is a, not a mad God. He's not a mean God. He's not a sad God, regardless of anything that comes his way and whatever we do. He always strives his best to be positive and look at it from a positive and a loving point of view. And that's just the type of person that I want to be and what I want to continue to work for. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. So that was my Bible verse, my Bible study this morning. It's currently one o'clock. I did start my day a little bit late. I started my, yeah, I started my day a little bit late, but I'm not mad at it it's my day off and today's been a great day um i watched a little bit of one piece if y'all watch anime let me know some animes y'all like to watch down below i'm on episode like 520 in one piece so they just came back from their two-year hiatus and i just seen luffy fight for the first time luffy zoro and sanji fight for the first time and i'm blown away okay i am blown away because as a team they were already super hard and now it's like they are crazy like unstoppable so i'm very excited to see how they progress and i think they're gonna get into another fight this next episode 
so I'm really excited to watch it. I just turned it off because I need to make sure I get my Bible study done and now I'm just going to try and finish uploading this video so if you guys haven't watched it already make sure you guys tune into my Jamaica vlog when you're done with this video it was very fun I love Jamaica and I cannot wait to go back let me know some different places you guys will want to see me go this year because I actually have a lot of places that I'm wanting to go this year but I won't spoil anything but yeah just let me know some places y'all want to see me go and some animes y'all like but we're about to just work on posting this video drop a Jamaica flag if you got to this part in the video and also drop a Jamaican flag if you guys already watched the last video, okay? Yeah, I split it with you. I regret it. You got some fetish. You got some problem. Now it's a problem. Oh, no. Skirts were on beaches. Don't know these beaches. Think they're on beaches. Do it for fun. Don't take me. Hey y'all, so I showed you me making a little bit of a promo video for my new YouTube Jamaica vlog that I just posted. So I finished doing that, finished editing and uploading that, and I just got started on editing another one of my videos. Um, got a little bit of work done. My iPad needs to be charged, so I'm going to go charge it. It's currently 3.30. I've been editing for a little bit, I think. Honestly, I kind of forgot when I started but my, my iPad is charging like I said so I think I'm gonna relax a little bit watch some one piece and then warm up some food some leftovers from last night and I'm probably just gonna eat that so I'll show y'all what the leftovers we have um, my bestie cooked it yesterday so it's looking real good it was so good yesterday just thinking like oh what do I have left to do I don't really have anything but I do have a lot of things that I can do so I need to fold my clothes and I need to do, start doing laundry make sure y'all go watch that Jamaica vlog too um, it's so good I can the laundry is going y'all we got all the clothes in there. I forgot to record it. I use gain pods. This. The main clothes that I was washing was my uniform. So I always make sure to use a lot of this OxyClean. Um, just because I firstly get very sweaty at work. And um, because I'll be dirty. Hospital clothes are very dirty. Also, I love to use this to help with the refresh. But yeah, let me change my battery. My battery's about to die, but laundry's getting done. I'm about to sit out here, watch One Piece, and go clothes, okay? Okay, and then we finna eat some Issa food, Issa food, Issa food. If you know exactly what I wanna do, then I'm gonna get a business too.
crazy? He just walked in the room and said, I love you to Chelsea. He didn't even talk to her at all. So he already knew what the fuck he was gonna say. I don't know why he's picking Chelsea, bruh. Bruh. Like he has a way better connection with her. Yeah, and I hope Chelsea doesn't pick him. Alright y'all, I'm about to wash off this face mask. I did an acid clay mask. Y'all see me do it a little bit. And I did that while I sipped on some wine and ate me a motherfucking cream cheese danish. I really hooked on those, those are so good. And we was watching Love is Blind. Oh my gosh y'all, I'm on episode 6. So if you're not on episode 6, skip this part so y'all not um, spoiled. But it's crazy. It's so crazy. I am gonna wash this off while I talk to y'all. Put these on. I am so mad at the fact Chelsea is with Trevor or whatever the heck his name is, and not with that other guy. I feel like she would have been so much like she would have been so much better off being with that guy. I don't know. She would have been so much better being with the other guy. AD and Clay, so fucking cute. My friend already watched it, so she be making faces at me, and I'm just nervous about what's to come, honestly. I'm wondering how this Aztec Clay did for my um, little acne spot that I had, because it was a really big bump. But it looks like it got really dark around that area, and last time i seen it it was um red i didn't put it on my forehead because my wig is just so much on my forehead it's like i'm not even gonna do that shit and mess with my mess with my hair because y'all know this shit is hard to take off like look at this but we like to listen to some music this video i'm about to go to bed take a shower and go to sleep i have a headache and you know i think i got enough footage for today so i'm really not gonna record my night routine comment down below if you guys want a night routine but yeah i'm about to just go to sleep but i hope you guys liked make sure you like comment and subscribe for me to my channel and Watch my last video because y'all know it just came out because I'm back on my productive shit. <laughs> Bye. Thank you for watching.